All right, guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, the day is finally here. We get to unbox uh, Ace Buzz, uh first mini album, Savage. We got all the versions here. Um, what we'll start out with, though, is just taking a look at these posters. Um, they are folded, because when I ordered from K-Town, I ordered really early. I didn't even get an opportunity to select. I didn't even honestly know there was posters coming with it. So we'll take a look at what we what we got going on here. So first we have a gazelle. Our gazelle uh, poster. And then we have the gigantic group poster. I can't even show it all on the thing here. And then another one here. I might honestly put this one up. Side. We have a massive. But uh, anyways, let me move that over for you guys. We got all the things here. We'll start with the case here, the case version. Kind of interesting. They went um, for the same style of packaging as the recent Red Velvet albums. So here's the front. Definitely pretty cool looking CD for sure. How do I get it open? And now's the next question. <laughs> Supposed to press something. All right, there we go. So, like I said, there's the disc. Pretty sick. And then, like, makes the Ace by your logo there. You could flip it up. Okay, actually, really like that. And then have the photo book and all the other inclusions. So. Um, in case you guys didn't know, there's um, an app you can download, which I'll have to check out. And you could actually go to like Kwangya or whatever it's called, um, with not only scanning the disc, but with the photo card that it comes with. So some pretty cool stickers. The Savage one is really nice. And this is like kind of just the background thing, I guess, that goes there. So put that back. We'll find our cards. All right, so first we have Giselle. This is an AR card. And ooh, we got Karina's. She is my bias, which is cool that we got hers. Ooh, I like the back of that one. It's a shame it has a little scratch, but whatever. Those are really nice. We'll do a quick little flip through. We got the same exact red velvet flimsy little photo book <laughs> that I don't like. I don't want to go too rough with this. So I feel like it's just gonna break in half. But uh, yeah, that's it for that. I'll put all that information stuff back in there as well. So yeah, this definitely looks the coolest in my opinion. But um, we'll have to see uh, inclusion wise, which one's the best one you should get? So, next we have the Digipack version. I wasn't really sure what to expect for this one, to be honest, but the back definitely looks really sick, to be honest. I like that a lot. Honestly, I'm thinking of like, I, I love the logo, don't get me wrong, but honestly, just displaying it like that, that would look sick on a shelf. Yeah, like maybe like something like like that. That would look pretty sick on the shelf. Plastic's on there really tight. There we go. So that is that. Then we'll 
opens up. We got our disc. This looks really cool on this one. And we got a bunch of stuff it looks like. Oh, well, we got our cards here. So we got Winter's uh, Lenticular, which is pretty cool. And we got Giselle. So there's what the backs look like. A little bit more plain, but still pretty cool. And what's this? Poster. So these are tattoos. We got the bubble ad or whatever. Yeah, we have a little poster. Honestly, not that bad. It's folded nice, so you can probably honestly use it because it doesn't cut anyone off. I like those bug fits too. Let's see what we got in our pocket here. What are these just like postcards? That's pretty cool. We got a group. We got Winter. We got Giselle. We got Karina. And Ning Ning. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So far, this is looking like the winner if you had to get one. It's got a nice little photo book too. Yeah, my two favorite songs, obviously I like Savage a lot, but my favorite B-side would probably be, it's either Lucid Dreams or uh, Energy or A Energy, however you say it, the first song on the uh, album. I like those two a lot. Pretty solid uh, first album and first release though. Let's slide all these goodies back in there. Maybe I'll put these, uh, I'll take these postcards back out and I'll put them in the, the binder as well. Doesn't look like the poster's gonna fit back in there, but we can just leave it like that for now, I guess. And lastly, we got the, the photo book version. Let's see how I'm gonna lift the plastic on this one. Everything, but first we got winter. It's a really nice card. I love these outfits, the pink ones. And our other card was another winter. All right. What's this one do? Just a little digi thing like that. That's it. All right. And we have our CD. Kind of like the last one. I think I like this one. We use uh, the digipack in this one a lot. And we got more tattoos. And I'm pretty sure that's everything that comes in it. Oh, right, we get the posters too for the members. These teasers were sick. We got a Karina. We got Ning Ning. This one was crazy. Oh, uh, we got Winter and Giselle. Yeah, these teasers, honestly, probably some of my favorite K-pop ever. They look sick. Um, yeah, so slide those back in. Too bad they didn't uh, do bigger versions of those, because those would be crazy. I'd buy those instantly. And it looks like that's going to be this concept for this photo book, so... What I'm going to take away from this is this has the best photo book. Uh, the DigiPack has the best inclusions. Um, 
and I guess the the um, case version has the coolest features because it has all the AR stuff. So honestly, there's a reason to buy all three of these. And the photo book version even has like really nice uh, printed paper. It's not the usual flimsy stuff they usually use for these versions, which is really cool. So yeah, guys, what do you think of this uh, release? I really liked it. I was looking forward to it for a long time. I was really hoping every time I heard uh, Ace was making a comeback, ever since they, de they debuted, I was like waiting for their first mini so I can get it. I still wish they changed their uh, the way their um, eye uh, characters look with the comebacks. I think it's kind of cheesy how they, they look the same exact way they did from the Black Mamba. Because it kind of made sense because it kind of matched the Black Mamba outfits, but... Like here, like, well, they're filtered here, but like if this was colored, they wouldn't look like uh, they matched at all. And you can kind of see with the, this card here, like, it would kind of cool if they uh, matched the hairs and stuff, but whatever, it probably costs too much money or something. But uh, yeah, guys, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you got the albums, what you got, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.